Hi, welcome to Pathways to Chemistry. I'm Dr. O'Connor, and here we're told that we have 25 milliliters of sulfuric acid mixed with 25 milliliters of potassium hydroxide in a coffee cup calorimeter at 23.5 degrees Celsius. We're told the temperature rises to 30.17 degrees, and we're asked to calculate the enthalpy change, or delta H, of the reaction. Well, there are a few things that we need to do here. First, we need to write a balanced chemical equation, okay? So what we have is we have potassium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid, and that's going to produce potassium sulfate and water. So let's go ahead and balance this, and I think I need a 2 in front of the potassium hydroxide and a 2 in front of the water. So I'm all set there, okay? So now, um, the first thing I'm going to have to do is find the heat, okay, that's released, all right? So, and we know it's released because the, uh, the temperature rises, so heat is re released into uh, the calorimeter. So the Q is going to be equal to the heat capacity of the solution times the mass of the solution times delta T. Now, we have to make a couple of assumptions here, okay? First, we have to assume that the total volume is the sum of the volumes. So that would be 25 and 25, which would be 50 milliliters. Next, we have to assume that the density of the solution is the same as the density of water and the specific heat capacity of the solution is the same as that of water. So that's, um, let's see, for water we have 4.184 joules per degree Celsius per gram. Okay, so um, we'll just go ahead and put this over to the side for a moment. Okay, now the first thing I need to do is, um, I have my specific heat capacity of the solution. I have the uh, delta T, or I can calculate that, right? So what do I need now? Well, I need the mass of the solution. So we can use the density and the volume to determine the mass. Remember, density is mass over volume. So then the mass then would be density times the volume. So we, uh, let's see, the mass of the solution is going to be equal to the density, which is one gram per milliliter, times the total volume, which is 50 milliliters. So that's just going to be equal to 50 grams. Okay? And of course, um, now we're ready to go. So we can determine the heat, and that is Q is equal to 4.184, and that's joules per degree Celsius per gram, times the mass, which is 50 grams, times delta T. Remember, that's the final temperature minus the initial. So the final temperature is 30.17 degrees, and the initial temperature 23.5 degrees Celsius. So... Let's go ahead then and calculate that, and that's 1.39536 times 10 to the 3 joules, okay? And I'm going to just go ahead and convert this to kilojoules, so that's 1.39536 kilojoules, okay? All I did was divide by 1,000. Okay, now, what we need to do here now is determine the number of moles of sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide. We have to determine if uh, we have a limiting reagent here, okay? Um, so here's our chemical equation. So let's go ahead then and determine the moles of sulfuric acid. Moles of sulfuric acid. Remember, molarity is moles over volume. So that means the number of moles will be equal to the molarity times the volume. So the molarity of the sulfuric acid is 
five molar. And we'll multiply that times the volume in liters, so that'd be uh, 25 milliliters is 0 0.025 liters. Okay, and that's going to give us 0. Point, whoops, 0. 0.0. Whoops. 0. 0.0 one, two, five moles of sulfuric acid. So now let's find the moles of potassium hydroxide. And that was one molar times 0.025 liters. And that's just going to be 0 0.025 moles of potassium hydroxide. We can see here that um, these completely react, okay? They're, um, uh, either one can uh, be limiting, right? So in this case here, we can use um, either the uh, sulfuric acid or the um, potassium hydroxide. So let's just go ahead and start with the uh, sulfuric acid. So if we use the sulfuric acid, um, we already know the heat, okay? Um, we calculated that over here. So we have 1.39536 kilojoules. And we'll just go ahead and divide that by the number of moles of the sulfuric acid. And let's see, here we get a negative 112 kilojoules per mole of sulfuric acid. And remember, that's negative, right, because we know that heat is released. Okay, so uh, we should have put our negative sign in here. So um, in the reaction, heat is released. We know that because of the temperature increase. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the same here. Um, we have um, delta H is equal to a negative 1.39536 kilojoules. I like to keep a lot of digits um, so that I don't introduce too much error into my answer. And so as far as the uh, potassium hydroxide, we have 0 0.025 moles of potassium hydroxide. And that gives us a negative 55.8 kilojoules per mole for potassium hydroxide. So really, the per mole of um, potassium sulfate would give us the same value as the uh, per mole of sulfuric acid, and the per mole of water would give us the same value as per mole of potassium hydroxide. 